Para nuestros hijos. Para nuestros hijos. Armed with their signs, voices, and desire for change. We are here for who? For our kids. Dozens of people march outside Wakefield High School. Hoping to shield students away from a deadly threat. No more drug dealers in our communities. They're not welcome here. At the front of their minds, freshman Sergio Flores, who died after overdosing in a school bathroom earlier this week. I was the one who found him in the bathroom. Was like he was he was already dead when I found him. Flores' friend asked us not to show his face. Finding him unconscious in one of the bathroom stalls has been a traumatizing memory. I miss him so much. He was like. A brother to me. We're going to take more actions. He now joins other students and parents in the march. One step to show love, one step to show support. We have to start somewhere. And another to show something more needs to be done to address drug use. It's going to require us fighting and working together as a community. The Wakefield High principal saying collaboration is vital. While drug use isn't new, the presence of fentanyl targeting young kids has been a fatal trend. There are people out there targeting children to get them addicted is just Unbelievable. For the students. But like others, this freshman wants SROs back in school. We need more security in the schools. There's just too much drugs and bad things going on. It wasn't just a deadly overdose this week. Thursday, the school was put on lockdown because of a trespasser. It's been overwhelming because everyone's scared of what's going to happen next. It's been a heavy week with concerns that continue to ripple across the county. It definitely has been a really, really hard week, even though my kids don't go to Wakefield, but it feel really close to home. Now, when I did ask the school principal if he would want to see SROs back in school, he says that decision is up to the school board. The school district did release some short-term and some long-term efforts already in place, which include more funding for substance abuse counselors and adding more Narcan into the school clinics. Now, coming up at 6, hear more from school administrators, including a school board member who was at the march. That's coming up at 6. But for now, reporting live in Arlington, I'm Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. Yeah, it sounds like they've been complaining about security and drug use at the school for quite a while and sad it's come to this.